Jeff Murphy back again with another video for you guys. We're going to talk about why I left the Fuji mirrorless system to join Team Sony. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's Jeff Murphy with Jeffrey Murphy Photography and today we're going to talk about why I decided to leave the Fuji mirrorless system and join Team Sony. Let's get into it. All right guys, let's talk about reason number one. I made the jump to Team Sony and it's got to be the impeccable autofocus system they pack in this camera. I mean, they put the A9 system in this body and called it a budget camera. I don't believe that at all. From what I've seen in my testing, it's been phenomenal. It literally has a 90% hit rate with me so far. It's locking on. And if you use the eye autofocus system, it's stellar with portraits. I mean, it literally can lock on for almost up to 25 to 30 feet from what I've done in testing so far. Uh, then that's not a knock on what Fuji's been able to do. Fuji has a very decent autofocus system, but sometimes when it when the lights went down during events, it just didn't come through for me. And that became a, a big frustration in my workflow when I get home and just see that it's just not as crisp as I'd like it to be. So uh, that's main reason number one, Team Sony, the focus system. All right, reason number two I made the jump to Team Sony is the battery life. They introduced the new Z battery and it's phenomenal. It is, it's on par with some of what the DSLRs are able to do. And what it's capable of is allowing me to shoot with just two batteries on an eight to 10 hour wedding day. Whereas if you've used a mirrorless camera, you understand the frustration of having to carry around seven, eight, nine batteries and then coming home and having to recharge and having to remember, oh, did I pack them all? Am I gonna have enough for today? No more of that. No more of that with these new Z batteries and I'm super excited about it. Reason number three is the third party lenses. Now, don't get me wrong, Fuji made phenomenal glass and it was more than affordable and it got the job done and it pretty much covered any focal range you would want. They built a great system, but Sigma and Tamron are, have jumped on board with the Sony A mount and I'm super excited for that. Sigma, I believe, is releasing six or seven lenses coming up this year. Tamron just announced on the 24th of May, they'll be releasing a 28 to 75 2.8 lens which is budget friendly. I think it's like $800. Um, so people are both buying into this Sony system. They believe in the hype and we just didn't have those options with Fuji. So that's another reason why I wanted to go ahead and make the switch now so I could start investing in that glass and I can start building up my collection. All right guys, this is it for me on episode one of the Struggle Studio. Make sure you tune in. I talked briefly about some of these lenses that I'm excited to have and own with Team Sony. Uh, what we'll do next week is we'll probably talk about some of the budget options for you guys making the switch over. And let me know in the comments if you guys are thinking about switching to Sony or if you've explored other mirrorless systems. And what, what do you think about the a7 III? I know there was a lot of hype, but I've had, it, I've had it in my hands for the past month. And I will say, I believe the hype personally. It's made my life a lot easier and I'm super excited to be a part of Team Sony. So until next week, thanks for tuning in guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.